It's time for another Morning Hog Brew Review. Hogtober rolls on, and we got more Oktoberfest flavors coming your way on 95.7 The Hog and the Morning Hog Brew Review with SR Parade. 95.7 The Hog, The Morning Hog. I'm Riggs. That's Steve over there. But wait, more importantly, Josh, SR Parade, a Morning Hog Brew Review. <laughs> Welcome to Hogtober, Josh. Thank you. you might have, your calendar probably says October, uh, but it's Hogtober. That's why you brought Hog October oh. flavors. Right? That's a hard one to say. I know. Yeah. It's really, I probably shouldn't say it on the radio. But the beers are easy to drink. That's all I need. That's Ooh. all I need. Yeah. <laughs> Good. So, so what did you bring us, man? So brought some more Oktoberfest beers. Um, we did some a few weeks ago. Yep. Hurricane got in our way for a little while. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But the season's still rolling. We still have some more beers to try. And uh, I found the drink in the storm away was the way to go anyway. So I feel like this is a really good way to maybe if you still got some storm recovery, great beers to have some flavor in your face. Exactly. Uh, so we're going to start off with your friends over there at Terrapin. Oh, look at yes. that can, bro. their no. Oktoberfest. Is that new? It's beautiful. So it's new to our market. Yeah. I believe they've done it for a little while now. Um, I've never seen that. But this is the that. first time we've had it over here. We have it packaged in draft, so you know, keep your eyes open. Oh, Check okay. out our website. Oh, you mean uh, srprod.com slash beer finder. Bingo. Go find it. It's easy to find. Just type it. You need a keyboard. So, so obviously keyboard. Terrapin out of Athens, Georgia. Yes, they um, are. Mm. But also really good friends of Florida, you know. With, with the proximity of the Florida, yeah, uh, they're they're down here quite often, right? And uh, we have a really good relationship with those guys, and it, it's it's a great brewery. Um, so this is another Martin style lager. Oh, uh, so you're gonna get a lot of you should get some caramel, but with these craft companies, they add a little bit more of that hop. Yes, there you go. I was gonna like say I'm, I'm caramel in the back. I'm, I'm for pick, sure. I'm picking up the IPA oh. in there. The, that that's a very Mild profile. But it's not an right. IPA at all. No, no, no. but, but it I, has that stank. No. So this is generously <clears throat> hops um, yes. compared yeah. to the other Marks and Sal Arcus out there. So if you're yeah. an IPA drinker, mm. um, this might be a little bit more up your alley than the other ones. But this is a very nice balanced mixture. Yes. Of, you know, hops right up front, finishes with that nice malt sweetness, a little bit of caramel flavor. Oh, I, I like, like this a lot. Yeah. Delicious. I mean, this definitely fits that uh, Terrapin profile very well. Can I have know? seconds? Yeah. What? Let's, let's go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, shoot, if he's going for it, I'll, I'll get back in there too. But Josh, don't don't waste any out of that can. Uh, now, uh, so Terrapin, is, so this is obviously a seasonal for them. That you're not going to be able to find this very long. Correct. Right? Okay. Yep. So definitely, you know, Total Wine, ABC, local independents, the website again. SRProd.com <laughs> slash beer finder. There you go. Steve found some more beer. Lucky. <clears throat> All right. All right. Man, that's really good. It's really yes, good. Yes, it is. Uh, and, I and wasn't I, expecting that And at I don't all. know why we've been deprived of that before here in Florida, but thank you, uh, Terrapin, for getting it here finally. And the can, can is just The can's very awesome. I want a shirt that looks like that, man. <laughs> it has that, that typical, uh, I guess, you white and blue checker flag mm-hmm. that's synonymous with uh, Oktoberfest. Right. A lot of fun. Yeah. And makes me think of uh, the uh, you know winning a race. Like, I just won a race. I get the beer <laughs> in my mouth as fast as possible. Look at this guy. So, next. First place. Chucking next. two ounces First at a place. time. What else you got, buddy? So I got Shiner's Oktoberfest. Oh, okay. Again. All right. Today will be all March and style lagers. Okay. Um, you know, last time we had a few different curveballs in there for the season. Right. Uh, but these will all be very similar. So we'll get to kind of taste the differences between the breweries, uh, which is always pretty cool to do side by side. No kidding. Shiner. Oof. Tech. Te- mm. The Texans know Texas. how to do Oktoberfest, right. don't they? I mean, mm. it's still a month in Texas. Don't be don't be fooled. <laughs> okay, now this one's I'm sure is going to have a whole different thing happening, right? Oh wow, mm. yeah, mm-hmm. totally different, but okay, still that, delicious. Now that's your normal March, right? right, there, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, so, not the hot profile is not nearly as present as the terrapin, right? But you're getting that nice sweet caramel flavor at the end. Uh, another solid one. Like I said, this is one of my favorite styles ever. Yeah. And I wish that it was a little bit more popular throughout the year, but just because it says uh, Oktoberfest, people tend to think it, you can only drink in October. It, it is. Do you think, because it seems like if you're going to be an introductory, maybe may people that listen to us that don't know what beer they want or don't even drink beer that often. Uh, so wouldn't this be a great beer to kind of break in beyond I, the normal? I, know, I, I do. Um, you know, <clears throat> that way you can show people that beer has a little bit more flavor than your mm-hmm. typical domestic beers out there. Yeah. Um, and kind of, you know, explain the, the profiles to them. And right. it, it's one of those beers. I think if you explain the profile, people are going to taste it. Yeah. Um, it's not a confusing beer, if that makes sense. So No, it does make sense. And it, and it, and it would, of course, it would living, it would frustrate the living hell out of them afterwards because you'd be like, you can't get this for another like nine months, but you're going to like it. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> Next it, year you'll love it. And the best part, you know, they're 
five point six on the on the Terrapin, five point seven oh, for Sun ABV on, on the Shiner. So nice. you know you can go through quite a few of these and yeah, you know, still be standing. Well, let's run to the batting cages real quick while we take a break. <laughs> we'll see how that that five percent sets in. Uh, more coming up in the Morning Hog Brew Review. Josh S R Parat, it's Hogtoberfest, baby. Ninety five seven to Hog, the Morning Hog Show. It's Morning Hog Happy Hour. Brew review time. Josh S.R. Parat right over there. He's sitting next to Steve. They're having some beers, Woo! and you guys need to share it. Come on. Well, no. What's up? We're in the middle of a Oktoberfest or Hogtoberfest uh, brew fest, and these are uh, those first two flavors I haven't had. What's next? You probably haven't had this one either. It doesn't look honest. familiar. Um, so Motorworks Brewing Company out of Bradenton, oh, also yeah. Orlando. Ooh, We've yeah. had their um, stuff in here before. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, we, we, you know, we picked up their distribution about well, Six or seven months ago. Okay. Um, so this is a first for us on their Oktoberfest. You know. made a mess over have there. You had this yet, Josh? Is this I have not. So this, this is, is a first, first well. time beer for Josh. Woo! Get it. Let's hear it for him. Yeah. <laughs> we don't. Not often do we get to have a beer at the same time Josh has. Right. Me. Strong smell. All right. Pungent. Oh, that does. That, that definitely has a very strong smell. A Oktoberfest aroma. I really dig get the can on this one. Yeah. I do too. I don't know if Tim's able to see it over there with the camera well, or not. Oh, yeah. but, so, uh, oh wow. I never it's realized really cool looking that. really cool-looking bore on the front of it. Wow. You know, it's, it's, and they have that, again, the classic checkered blue and white It looks both blue and white parts flag. happy and angry. I'm not yeah, sure which. Yeah. There you go. That probably happens in October a lot, though. You get... It's a Martin Pig. Yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> it is Martin Pig. Yeah. Uh, and it's emitting a great You beer. educated okay. me. Let's see right. what's up. Now, this, now, the aroma is, is, is stacked on this thing. Mm. Oh, See that has oh, a lot, flavor. a lot Ooh. more of the malt flavor. That is all. That is not all malt, but it's a yeah. lot of malt. Um, wow! You know, if, if you're searching for hops, go with Terrapin. If you're searching for malt, go with the uh, the Motorworks. Wow! I um, like this, dude. I, I really enjoy that too. Yeah. You know, once you start getting into those wow. flavors, uh, you can really taste roasted malt and stuff like mm. that. That's, that's killing. You said Motorworks has not been with Parat for a long time. I would assume Ooh. this is their first. Seasonal that they've done, right? Yep. Mm. Uh, and then maybe next week I'll have something as well. Oh, what? Yeah. Uh oh. Well, what, what, what's the next holiday? Oh, Thanksgiving beer. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about that then. No, um, no, Halloween. Oh, Halloween. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We are close to Halloween. All right. Uh, and, uh, and by the way, uh, in the middle of uh, Halloween, I, I'm thinking that would be, I'm just going to put a bunch of these beers. I'm going to go as the brew review. Ooh. That's my Halloween You're going to go as the brew review? Yeah, so save those cans. I'm just going to tape them to a shirt. I'm going to be the brew yep. review. One yeah. of those shirts that say, This is my costume. Exactly. That'll be, I mean, I'm saving money, right? right. I got more money to buy beer. Hey, there you mm. go. Whoosh. All right, you got one more. That's it's delish. a bottle, though. It's a bottled beer, Josh. Be careful. You don't want to cut yourself. Yeah, I wanted to uh, finish with something a little bit more authentic. Uh, we have Warsteiner's Oktoberfest. So, mm, German okay. imported. They know they've been doing it literally forever out okay. there. Um, I mean, the you know, name sounds Warsteiner. German. Warsteiner. See, Warsteiner. You, you, we've talked about this or, in, in, our, in our pre brew review, pre meeting, and Steve has never had a Warsteiner. No. Which is crazy. This right? is the first timer for me, right? I mean, he had been to Germany. I he lived there. For, in, I lived there dude, for lived six Germany. years. I think right you just there. don't remember having him. One He's got Lederhosen <laughs> in his closet. Well, the Josh. first time I was in diapers. <laughs> oh, okay. Fair. What? I think the second time. Is that how you say it in Germany? <laughs> wow. It's really weird. It's not a three syllable word, but all right. Yeah. Uh, all right, Steve. Let's see it. Let's get your first reaction to your first war style. Okay. Seems smooth. To Quite me, literally, to me it smells a little bit less malty. Go ahead and taste it, though. Go ahead, Josh. Make the statement about this beer. It's perfect. Oh, I, wow. I, 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 I agree. Oh, it's even more malty than the last. Right. So this wow, is, okay. like I said, a little bit more traditional, Ooh. a little bit more yeah. authentic. Right. Um, just because that malt flavor is just <clears throat> right right there, right up front. Um, has like a warm taste. Exactly. Very warm. Yeah, it doesn't have any of those like um, winter spices or anything like that. No. But it kind of gives you... It reminds you of fall, just because of yes. the flavor. And yes. That's the only way I can really describe mm-hmm. it. You know what's really weird that I just got? It might be just because I had some mm-hmm. gum right before you showed up, but it's, this is so smooth. Mm-hmm. And on the back end, I was like, is that corn? I love corn. Not the band, but <laughs> <laughs> I felt like it was a, a nice ear of maize that I had during yeah. the uh, during the uh, October and November months. Uh, that's a great beer, though. And and, mm. and what's the ABV on that? Because you could... So five point nine. So oh, all oh these boy. are below six yeah. percent. Yeah. So these go. are all doable to get a few down and uh, you know still have a great time. Mm. And, mm, uh, mm, mm. You know, we are doing a Oktoberfest event. Oh, on here we Beach go. Street. Here we go. 
Oktoberfest. Yeah. Beach Street. Beach Street. Beers. Over there by McKay's. Right? It's dry now. Everything's dry over there. I hope so. Cool. I haven't yeah. been there yet. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be dry. <laughs> we'll get some uh, towels. It'll be fine. Uh, it, so that should be October 22nd, I believe. It's a Saturday. Okay. Um, you'll have to go into Google and, and search for it. I, sure. I'm not sure the website right this second. Right. But, uh, you know, so look forward to that. And we'll, we'll have some killer stuff out there. There'll probably be a sign up there at McKay's or whatever. Oh, yeah, Swing absolutely. by and just ask them about that. Yeah. That's going to be great. So we'll be a, like a big street party again. We'll have uh, a, a, yep. so many of these tasty SR Prop beers. Yeah. Uh, Hoff Brown War Center is sponsoring the event. So right. we'll have a lot of the, you know, the authentic German stuff out there and Ooh. some food and fun and Stein hoisting contest. Stein hoisting again? Yep. Boy, I, I tell you what, judging that last year was brutal. There was a lot of controversy. <laughs> we talked about it a little bit here. Steve, yes? See, what? that's why you have to have your rules established ahead of time. Especially with Stein hoisting. People start holding Be it all weird. Be specific. Which, no, you have to. Arm yeah. straight out yep. and hold it by the handle. Yeah, where's that elbow? That's it. Yep. I think no exception. What I was thinking yep. of is maybe we tape everybody's elbows up this year. Okay. Whoever wants to participate, we we'll just wrap their elbows in duct tape so they can't even bend it. How about you just <laughs> how about you just put like a cast on your arm? Maybe then they cast, can't bend it. Some plaster? I mean, take yeah. a little long, you gotta let it set. Oh, it's stuff, okay. But, uh, either that or flex seal. Right, we'll figure it out. We got Oof. time, right? <laughs> Sounds expensive. <laughs> so that'll be a, that'll be a beautiful Saturday in Daytona yep. Beach. Oh, Absolutely. I love it. God, I love it. And you'll have time to put your Halloween costume. Maybe that's a great place to come up with a Halloween costume out there at the uh, I was thinking about being Steve event. this year. Yeah? Yeah. Steve, are you going to go as Steve? <laughs> well, I mean, you guys could just tw- trade beer colors. I might colors just go as Josh. Yeah. yeah. We just have to trade hats. Yeah, and, uh, really. Yeah. I might have to give slim me, down Give me some of your hair, hair though, I'm looking, bro. At, I'm looking at you top. both right now. I really don't know who's who. I'm not sure which one of you is which. Borrow your mop, to be honest. <laughs> I'm a little freaked out right now. All right. Uh, <laughs> srbroad.com slash beer finder. Let's, uh, let's enjoy the beers. So cheers. 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 <laughs>